thank God for the victories. Second Chronicles 20 and verse 26. On the fourth day, they assembled in the valley of Baraka, where they praised the Lord. This is why it is called the valley of Baraka to this day. So the valley of Baraka is a place um, where Jehoshaphat led uh, the army after they won the victory against the Moabites and Ammonites. And Baraka simply means blessing, a valley of blessing. And as we know, uh, this battle of, of Second Chronicles 20 uh, is a very unique battle because, you know, uh, the... Uh, those who followed Jehoshaphat, they didn't use weapons, but they simply sang and they praised God and the priests went ahead uh, uh, before the army and God did uh, a unique uh, miracle and he granted them the victory without even using uh, their weapons. And so this battle uh, was won because of God's wisdom uh, and the breakthrough that God released supernaturally to Jehoshaphat and the people. But the, the great thing is that Jehoshaphat remembered to thank God. When they assembled in this valley, they thanked God. Uh, they remembered to thank God for the victory that he had granted them. Think about Miriam. You know, The Bible says that she danced with a tambourine. She sang a song uh, of victory. Uh, she sang a song describing how God had uh, drowned the Egyptians and God had preserved the lives of his children. You know, she recognized the victory of God and, and, and the people together with her, they thanked God. You know, many times we pray, we ask God to bless us, we ask God to uh, grant us breakthroughs uh, and you know, maybe before going into an exam or an interview, uh, we pray and ask God for his favor but do we remember to thank him for uh, you know his work for his help his support uh, in our lives you know, let's uh, rejoice like Miriam over the victories of God like Jehoshaphat you know let's rejoice uh, over the supernatural breakthroughs that God grants us second chronic uh, second Corinthians 2 and verse 14 says that now thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place so our God is a God who promises to lead us in victory. And when we come out with flying colors, when we are victorious, let's not forget to thank. Thank God for the victories because it is God who has strengthened us to get those victories. It is He who has gone before us. It is He who has made every crooked path straight. And when we thank Him, you know, He is glorified. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we recognize that every victory in our lives, God, is from you. And God, we want to thank you. Lord, we want to thank you uh, for uh, uh, being our Father. We want to thank you for being that good shepherd. We want to thank you, God, for going before us. And Lord, we give you all the glory, Lord, for the victories that we have. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.